the uh, Redcoin uh, new social wallet that they released, uh, the Redcoin developers. Um, have you have you gotten a chance to try this out at all? The Redcoin new social wallet. No, I don't. The only uh, I have a very small amount of Redcoin, which I got from Coinbrief. Because you know their promotion from comment on, commenting on articles, you get uh, five hundred per comment. Yeah, yeah. So I have like, and you get a certain amount for joining. So I have yeah. like two. I have two thousand from that, uh, from having an account and responding to comments. Uh, but other than that, I'm not invested in Redcoin at all. So I don't really. Um, I've read I read the article, the Coinbrief article on the the wallet. Mm -hmm. um, I don't really know enough about Redcoin. Yeah, um, to have I, an opinion on it. I I uh, I tried out the wallet and like Red Redcoin the um, the appeal or the the pitch is that it's the it's the social currency. It's the going to be the cryptocurrency that is built for social networks and it'll be seamless uh, for you know transferring over Twitter, Facebook, and such. And uh, you know this new social wallet that they released. Um, the, oh, it's called the Red Wallet, actually. Um, first of all, the first thing I noticed when I installed this and started playing around with it is it's very clean. It looks very nice. Um, everything's organized nicely. It's It doesn't look like um, a regular cryptocurrency wallet. It's nothing like the Bitcoin QT wallet or, you know, Dogecoin QT, all those. It's very nice, streamlined design. Um, and you, you have ways that you can look at announcements and news, uh, recent news right from within the wallet. So you can, you know, check out latest, latest developments of red coin and such. And there's also, there's a chat window. You can go into chat right from the wallet itself. And, um, some, some of the features aren't quite ready yet, but, um, there's, there's uh, infrastructure in place where it'll allow you to connect directly with Facebook and Twitter and such from within the wallet, uh, helping Redcoin become more of a social currency. Right. Uh, from what I understand from reading the Coin Brief article, um, uh, this is like a revolutionary new wallet. Because, um, um, like you said, it, it, nothing like this has ever been done before. And um, it basically turns your wallet into a social network, right? Am I understanding that correctly? Yeah, that's the intention, yes. Um, well, as of right now, it's not actually, uh, you can't actually connect to, um, you know, uh, Facebook and such right now. Uh, as far as I can tell, uh, those, that, those features aren't fully activated yet. Um, but... If if that does happen, it might be revolutionary. Uh, I, I'm not sure like how how it would work. Like if you send someone some red coin through the through the red wallet, uh, and then you can post directly to Facebook that you sent them the coin, because there's already there's Bitcoin wallets that can do that. You can start you can send a transaction. And uh, you know, post to Facebook or Twitter or whatever. I just received, uh, you know, 0.5 Bitcoin, or I just sent I sent Bitcoin to someone, and you can post that to social networks. So I'm curious to see how Red Wallet um, implements this idea, and whether it's um, uh, whether you can actually send money to people who don't necessarily have the like wallet installed, you know. Like maybe it'll it'll post to their Facebook wall and say I sent you a thousand red coin and then uh, like maybe they just they, it's already in an address for them yeah. and then if they and want they, to they can like they install get a, a wallet. They get a prompt to like download a Facebook app or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. aren't they? Isn't Redcoin working on Facebook integration? Yeah. To where you can tip people on Facebook. Mm -hmm. So uh, like well so that's what I imagine it being like if you if you send somebody some red coin on Facebook and you know they don't know what it is they'll get a notification saying you know you, your friend sent you red coin and then it'll give you a prompt to download the Facebook tipping app so you can claim it and then um, 
and then you know the tipping app will, will prompt you to download the wallet and then um and then all of yeah. a sudden you're involved in the red coin community yeah um yeah. but my i have a question i've i've done a little I've read a little bit about Redcoin. I understand it's supposed to be like a so the social currency is how they market it. Yeah. But is is Redcoin supposed to be like a Bitcoin competitor, or is it just supposed to facilitate social networking? Like, is it really is the goal really to have it get any like significant um, monetary value? Yeah, I mean, well, I can only speak. From from my opinion, I, I'm not involved uh, with the Red Coin developers in any way. I'm not even really involved in the community that much. But um, we do have some viewers who are into Red Coin, so so um, you know maybe they can comment uh, below on the video or comment on Coin Brief um, uh, about their opinions about Red Coin's intentions and goals and such. But uh, I don't know about uh, I don't know if they want to be a direct competitor to Bitcoin. It seems to me, based on uh, their marketing and such, that they really just want to position it as the social version of Bitcoin. They want to p make it the um, the go-to currency for doing social tipping and stuff like that. Because you know that's still an area where, where Bitcoin is making um, inroads and improvements and stuff. And I guess maybe the Redcoin guys are hoping that they saturate that market faster than Bitcoin can. So yeah, I think it's I think it's mainly intended to be um, just a social currency uh, for social tipping and such. Right. Well, see, my thing about that is um, that's a great way to make social networking more fun. Um, mm -hmm. Like I think I think Dogecoin has done a really great job of making uh, Reddit way more fun. Yeah, especially, mm. especially if you go in the actual Dogecoin subreddit, because they're just tipping each other constantly, mm -hmm. and it's just really hilarious just to be in there. <laughs> but because of all the money flying around. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I and I got tipped some Doge once, and I was like, "Ooh, money!" But then I looked at the exchange rate, and it was like a, you know, what I got tipped was like a fraction of a penny, so I didn't even care about it. Yeah. So that's so that's my thing with it. If if Redcoin doesn't really get any significant monetary value then i just don't really understand the point of it besides making social networking more fun yeah i mean the hopefully the price increases for redcoin because um like right now you need like hundreds of thousands of redcoin to have what just uh just 20 bucks or something so like I like ideally if you're going to have a cryptocurrency where people tip each other on on social media a lot uh tipping each other on Reddit, Twitter, uh Facebook and such um you want to have it so that you can you know send someone like 5 coins and that's equal to like 50 cents or something. You know, what if one coin was worth uh 10 cents? And I think that the uh the red coin devs are kind of hoping that's what happens like they're anticipating that the price goes up it gets more valuable and then eventually you'll be able to tip someone like a hundred red coin and it'll be like it'll be a couple bucks or something uh but yeah they're they're not quite there yet and um i'm not i'm not sure if they'll be able to be more successful uh, with social media than bitcoin already is uh, you've got a bunch of different tipping apps that are coming out. Uh, people who are making it easier to tip Bitcoin on social media, and I'm, you know, I'm not sure if Redcoin is going to be able to uh, do something that Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies just can't do. You know, that's 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 what makes cryptocurrency successful is doing something that Bitcoin can't do. Yeah, well, I mean, what I think about Bitcoin tipping is that um, I think I think Dogecoin has been so much more successful in terms of tipping than Bitcoin has been, and I think Redcoin could be just as successful as Dogecoin because no nobody really wants to give up their Bitcoin because it's so valuable now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so so that kind of that kind of seems like a problem to me. But again, I don't. 
I don't really know anything about tipping. I'm more concerned with, you know, with the economics of Bitcoin. Yeah, the macro so, stuff, right? So, um, but it, it seems like, you know, if it's too, if it's too valuable, nobody's going to want to tip with it because they, they're not going to want to give it up. They're going to want to, you know, buy something with yeah, it. Yeah, that's, that's but, a psychological um, aspect. But if it, if it's not valuable enough, uh, then people really won't have any interest in dealing with it because you know you'll 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 get some some red coin and you'll find out how much it's worth and you won't really care about it because you know it's like it's like two cents or something. Uh-huh. Um, so yeah, I like I like what you said. Like if it can be if it, it's like, if it's like worth ten cents or something, uh, and somebody and somebody gives you a couple and you end up having like five bucks. Yeah, you know that can you know that. That can like buy a couple songs, or uh, yeah. you know maybe you can maybe you can put it on like a prepaid card or something like go to Starbucks or something. Um, so I think th- if so I think if that's what happens, it would really make uh, social networking much more valuable to convey ideas because people would be more. Uh, I think people would. Uh, be more concerned with providing valuable content on their social networking sites. Yeah. I, that's the uh, goal, because, right? To, to yeah. incentivize people to make good content. Yeah. Because, um, you know, right now, I, I mean, I really hate Facebook right now and I don't really pay much attention to it anymore. Yeah. Just because the, the things that are posted on there are so meaningless, you know, except for some of the news pages I follow. Mm. So, um, yeah, like you said, if, <laughs> maybe if, if we can, incentivize people to make better content on Facebook. Yeah, exactly. You know, like you said, yeah. if if Redcoin gets up to like ten or fifteen cents per coin, and uh, they can get and the development team can integrate it into Facebook and Twitter, they've already got it into Twitter. Uh, they have a good tipping bot, I think. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. if they can get it into yeah. Facebook, you know, and people can actually, you know, make some pocket money to get songs, maybe even pay for a Netflix subscription or something. Yeah. You know, though, if if they know that they can do that, they can uh, get you know some small luxuries like that from providing quality content. I think that would make social networking uh, a much more valuable experience than it is right now. Yeah, yeah, that would be fantastic. And you know, if 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 that's Red Coin's uh, ultimate goal, more power to him. I fully support them. I want to see uh, cryptocurrency tipping integrated more deeply into every social network. I want to be able to uh, read someone's status on Facebook or read someone's tweet on Twitter or read someone's self post on Reddit and just be able to click like one little button that would be like, you know, plus, plus one, um, give me uh, like plus 100 Dogecoin or plus 1000 red coin or something. Just click it. And then boom, like, like instantly, like uh, my money is in their pocket now. And, you know, thanks for the great content. Uh, please post more content in the future, you know, Uh, reward that person. So yeah, yeah I be, I want to see that happen. That would be really great for social media, um, especially especially if uh, if Bitcoin, if if uh, you can tip really well with Bitcoin, you know, like like I said, people don't want to let go of it because it's too valuable. Um, but if people were willing to, you know, it's it's so much more valuable than the other ones that uh, that it would make it that much better. Yeah. Like I saw a few weeks ago that YouTube was considering uh, or or like working on adding um, a Bitcoin tip button to the yeah. to the video page. And so I thought that was really interesting because my immediate thought was for for YouTubers that did music, you know, essentially it would become yeah. like an online version of the street busker. And, you know, you like you toss a dollar bill in, the, in their yeah. hat. Yeah. Now you know you click you click the tip button and you get a you give them like a dollar worth of Bitcoin, um, or red coin, and uh, and that would encourage them to make more content. Yeah, yeah. YouTube, a oh, perfect example. Like it was so many people make tons of great content, but in most cases they do it for free. Like they do it because they love it. And you know if 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 cryptocurrencies can provide a better way for their audience to support them 
Um, then fantastic. I, I, I hope it happens.